Swanson! Abby zips across the room and leans all springy on the front of my desk. There's a water fire tomorrow night, and Nabine has never been to one. I told her you might take us to the next one. The next morning, Alita calls. Swanson, I'm reading the paper, and they're having one of those fire-in-the-water things tonight. They are. In fact, I'm taking the kids. Want to come? Yes, she squeals. Why don't you all come down here, and we can have a drink? Then I'll take us all out to dinner at Hemingway's. It'll be one of my court-appointed observations. As we come down the home stretch of dinner at Hemingway's, the fires suddenly blaze up on the river, and Abby and Abine run over to the windows. No manners, comments Eric. Outside, Alita takes my arm and Eric's while the girls walk on ahead, leaning into each other. Crowds line the quays, and flames dance in the middle of the river, orange cinders spewing skyward. Soulful music resonates from speakers camouflaged amidst the stone walls banking the river. Doesn't the wood smell good, says Alita. It's so not L.A. I'm thinking I'd like L.A., I say. The sun, the warmth, the brightness. I'm beginning to feel over the northeast. Below us glides a black lacquered gondola. A couple sit on the red tufted seats, sipping champagne, while the gondolier in his striped shirt and hat, with a black ribbon fluttering down the back, works the long oar. Can we ride in that? asks Abby excitedly. Soon it's us, gliding along in the gondola. The heat of the fire is warming our faces, the people, so many of them lovers, sitting close, lining the river walk, bathed in flickering orange light. At water level, the music feels as though it's emanating from within our own chests. Venezia, sighs Alita. Belle and Jack in Venezia. Eric is leaning to one side, letting his fingers trail in the water. I'm about to say something cautionary, but stop myself. Leave the kid alone for five minutes. Just then, Eric yanks his hand out of the water. Ah! He screeches. Damn it, I should have told him to... Something's in the water, says Eric, recoiling. We all look over the edge. The gondolier stops rowing. Something has bumped up against his oar, and all at once we see what it is. Oh my God, moans Abby.